Hi, Brent and Sarah. Right now we're outside of two, one of two polling locations here in Derby where registered Republicans are casting their ballots today. Now, what they're voting on is which candidate they want to see as a Republican candidate for mayor on the ballot in November. Here's who's on the ballot, incumbent mayor Richard Zekin, who is hoping to be reelected for a fourth term. He collected enough signatures to force a primary. Gino DiGiovanni is the other candidate. He's endorsed by the Derby GOP and serves as a city alderman. As of 5 p.m., nearly 24 percent of registered Republicans here in Derby have voted either in person or by absentee ballot. I just spoke to both candidates who say they casted their own votes this morning and have spent the day speaking to people in person at polling sites and making calls to try to earn their votes. Now's the time to uh, make that change, come out and vote today, and uh, so that we could, um, you know, get the community more involved and um, start to move Derby in a different direction than we have been for a long, long time. I mean, we, we got so much development done in the last six years, and we're moving Derby forward. We've stabilized the tax base, we're, we're, we're building the grand list, we got development coming in. Um, it's, it's there. It's where we're at the cusp to really bring Derby to the forefront again. Now, both candidates also face some challenges. Di Giovanni is facing federal charges for entering the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. And under Zekin's leadership, the city of Derby's finances were also recently placed under the strictest level of review by state officials after an audit found a $1.9 million deficit after the city had reported a surplus of $1 million. Now, because Zekin is a petitioning candidate, again, he collected enough signatures to force this primary. Because he's a petitioning candidate, he will be on the ballot in November, regardless of what tonight's outcome is. Live in Derby, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.